Okay, this is the last uh, uh, segment of these uh, vi video clips that I'm making for welding uh, uh, features in Katia. Uh, this, this particular one is not welding. Uh, in fact, it doesn't appear in the welding uh, uh, toolbar or icon, but I think it's a good idea to do that. I did the counterpart of this in uh, for shells. So what we have here is two, it's an assembly, uh, two parts like that, and the left and the, the, these corner points, these corner points, the eight corner points are made to go together. Think about it in that. So the, the two pieces are not welded, but you can think about these corner points are forced to move together. Uh, left left uh, uh, side of this, uh, assemb this assembly is clamped and you put a load on the right, right edge. Okay, so let me start these things from scratch. So let, uh, we're going to start with the product file. Insert, insert new part in there. So uh, let me just uh, make it uh, on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane. I will sketch a rectangle like that. Okay, never mind about dimension. And then I'm going to pad it. Okay, so maybe 100. Uh, a little bit longer. 150. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to insert. I'm going to insert. Insert a new part. In there. And uh, it's going to be something like that, except that it's attached to it on the side, okay? So uh, the easiest way of doing this uh, to make that, we go there, on that face, we sketch. I'm going to project that entire face. I'm too lazy to draw these things. And exit. And notice that we have that thing that we can pad it. So pad it by, uh, I don't know, 150. Uh, that sketch, right? the sketch and there we are okay so let me change the color here so that it looks nicer uh, I don't know I think I made it green and this one properties I made it orange nothing in particular Nothing particularly about this. Okay, now uh, let's make everything out of steel. This assembly, this entire assembly is made out of steel. Uh, metal. Uh, steel. Okay. And now we're going to go to generative structure analysis. Katia meshes it automatically, so you can look at them there. This is where this, the, the seam is. You can see that there's a seam here. As a matter of fact, we can make the color of these elements different too, so uh, we can see exactly where the seam is. Okay, good, good. Uh, you know you know what? I want to make these actually a little bit longer because there's something I want to show you. Maybe it's easier if I did, if, if it was longer. So this length, uh, let me see now. If I go to this part, uh, let me make this thing it's easier. Wait a minute, what am I here? So uh, we are there. Oh, part one, part two. Why is it not opening? Uh, definition. Okay, uh, 200. I want to make it a little bit longer. Okay, and same thing with the other one. Uh, we go here. For some reason, it's not opening from here. So let me go to this part. Pad definition. I think it's stuck. All right, let's go here. Part two. Okay, so uh, pad. I'm sorry, this is a distraction, but it's easier if I make it longer so that you can see something better. All right, by the way, uh, 
uh, update. Let's go to the assembly. Well, we can, we can, we can, uh, yeah. Right, so let's uh, move these apart. I was not intending to do all this extra stuff here, but uh, that's, that's fine. So coincidence between uh, this edge and that edge. And update. It wasn't worth it, but I did it anyway. Okay, so let's go back to the analysis. Uh, now, uh, this end, this end, uh, this end is clamped. Okay, and I want to add a load to this edge in the direction Z. Uh, direction Z, not Y, minus, minus 100 Newton. Okay, good, good. Now, that's what I was discussing, this thing. See this? Point-point analysis connection. You click on it, it says, what is the first component? Well, the first component is this one, okay? Now, I may have to select, it's easier to select. Uh, just a second here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what I meant, the first component is, let me hide this, let me hide this part. The first component is these corner points. One, one, two, three, and four. And the mesh is this mesh, the first one, right there. See that? Second component is the other guy that is in hiding right now. Let me bring this thing in the front. Let me hide this. This corner point, the order is not important. This corner point. these two and this one four, 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 four. and the mesh is of course the mesh associated with this orange one and say okay so you see this point to point point to points analysis connection is created and now you go here this is the welding toolbar that I don't want I don't want that I want this guy node-to-node -node connection properties. The first one that I want, you click on it, and you select it from the tree here, and again, rigid, and uh, let's bring this thing in the front and run it. Notice that I'm not touching the uh, welding toolbar. Okay, let's run it. And it's done. So look at the deflection. There we are. You can animate it. It's as if those things are welded together, but they're not only at the corner points that they're moving together. And as a matter of fact, if you look enough, look close enough, they are, there is separation there. Okay, now I think I forgot to do this one correctly. I did not do this correctly. That's why these are connected to each other and this one is not. It, it could be that inadvertently I selected three, uh, three, uh, let me see, in this point to point connection. Uh, yeah, see that right there, three, see, cancel that. Let me go ahead and fix this. I was careless in selecting those four points. Okay, so let's go ahead, change the rendering here, like that. And I think it's this point that I forgot to cut. Let me hide that and double click on uh, that connection. And it's this corner point that I forgot to select. There. Now it's four vertices. Let's run it again. Uh, 
I wanted to show you a gap, but it was not that gap that I wanted to show you. So let's look at the deformation. The gap that I want to show you is right there. See that? Right in between. The, the corners go together. If I change the scale actually here to maybe a, a, a thousand, you see, you can see it better. Right there. See? These corner points are attached together, but not in between. Now, if this thing uh, is not physically possible for you, well, obviously you should not do it like that. But uh, I think it's good to know how this is uh, similar to uh, what we did for uh, shells. Okay? And that's pretty much